Patrick Montgomery was in court. Jonathan Manapa will stay in federal custody. No, I don't take responsibility at all. 59-year-old Daniel Egdvet of Maryland has been found guilty. Egdvet chose a bench trial instead of accepting a plea deal, and the proceedings began on Monday, December 5th. In court, the prosecutor shared a video of the physical altercation between Egdvet and the police. This is after Egdvet rushed toward the officers and he was shouting at them to shoot him. And this ended with Egdvet, who's a very large man, on the ground. This is after the officers tried to stop him. He tried to come back into the Capitol. They tried to stop him. They tried to move him toward the exit and restrain him. So Eggvet's attorney wanted to argue that he had the permission of the then president of the United States to enter the Capitol. The judge said, no, I'm not going to allow that argument at trial. No one has allowed that. Um, all other judges have refused that excuse. Then Egbert's attorney tried to paint him in the trial as the victim in the situation. The attorney claimed that the police were the aggressors, and she likened the officer's actions to, quote, how a pack of hyenas surround their prey and attacks it from all angles. So the judge heard from numerous witnesses, including police officers, all of whom said that they either personally directed Egbert to leave or they witnessed other officers telling him that he needed to leave the Capitol, and he failed to do so. The government also shared very damning letters and statements uh, that were written and made by Egvet following his arrest. At one point, he said that he intended to fight the police if they tried to move him to a D.C. jail. And Egvet's attorney tried to blame her client's actions on the fact that he was doused with pepper spray before he entered the Capitol something which she said was inappropriate and unnecessary. But the prosecutor pointed out, quote, the fact that he was sprayed and came into the Capitol anyway, that shows his intent. That shows what he wanted to do, which was to stop the certification. So U.S. District Judge Christopher Cooper is presiding over this case, and one week after the trial ended, he found Egbert guilty of seven out of nine counts. They are assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers, obstructing an official proceeding, civil disorder, entering a restrictive building, and two counts of disorderly conduct. So the most serious felony, the obstruction charge, that comes with, as you guys have probably heard me say, up to 20 years in prison, but the federal sentencing guidelines are always much lower. And to be honest, Judge Cooper has been a pretty weak judge, so... It's not going to be anywhere near that long, um, but, you know, he he was found guilty on numerous charges, refused to take a plea, so that makes a big difference. So Egvet will be sentenced on March 16th of next year. I will definitely let you guys know what happens, how that all goes down. Thank you so much for watching and listening. Please like, share, subscribe, or please become a monthly supporter through Supercast. Um, where you can get the YouTube link and also the podcast all in one shot. So thank you guys so much again. Take care. I will talk with you soon.